Hey everyone, it's Dan, and today we're going to prep this conventional lead acid battery for installation in one of my motorcycles. Now, this guy's going to end up getting installed in a Yamaha TW200, uh, but in general, exactly the same steps are going to be uh, have to be taken for any other unsealed lead acid battery for any other motorcycle, ATV, boat, anything else that uses these types of batteries. So. The first thing that we want to uh, keep in mind is that there are two different ways to purchase this thing. Uh, the batteries sometimes are sold by themselves, which require you to also get an acid pack, or they can be purchased as a kit. My personal preference is to buy them as a kit. Uh, it's easier. You know you're going to have enough acid. They usually come with a tube that's required to fill it up, uh, and a lot of times they actually make it easier to fill up than what we're going to go through today. So I would suggest that you get a kit. Um, and save yourself some time, and it's also usually a little bit cheaper. So, you will be working with actual sulfuric acid, so you don't want this thing to get in your mouth or in your eyes. So, goggles will be really important. I also like to wear gloves just to make sure that I don't get any skin damage. Uh, it's also going to be really important to wash your hands after you're done handling this thing. So, overall, what we're going to want to do here is we will open up each of the plugs on this battery. We will fill them up to the top line here. We're going to let this guy settle for about an hour or so, move it around a little bit, make sure that the level of acid is even in uh, each one of the compartments, and then we're going to close it up, and then we're going to put it on charge. So even though your attention to this process is only, only going to be a few minutes, the overall process is probably going to take about a day uh, because you will need to charge this guy up uh, overnight probably before you're able to use it. So let's get started. Right now, I'm just removing these yellow plugs. Okay, so the openings are exposed. There's also this uh, little vent on the back of the battery, so I'm going to remove the plug from here. This guy can be discarded. And later on, we're going to replace it with one of the tubes once it's installed in the bike. So before I open up the acid pack, I'm going to put on my protective gear. So I like my eyes, so I will cover them up. Use some gloves. And I also want to make sure that I have easy access to water just in case I uh, splash anything that I want to rinse off right away. So now I can go ahead and unseal this guy. And uh, with this particular uh, acid pack, I got to snip off the tip of, uh, of this container here. And we're going to use the red tube that comes with the kit. We'll attach the red tube to the plug here, and then we'll fill it up to the top fill line on the battery. So I wanted to cover it up just to make sure it doesn't splash up in my face or eyes. And this deformed it just a little bit, so I'll straighten it out. So it's nice and round. Okay, the tube is on there. I am using just a little piece of cardboard uh, in case uh, anything gets splashed. Um, and I have a little flashlight over here that I'll use just to backlight the battery to make it easier for me to see what the actual uh, fill levels are. So again, we're going to fill it up to the upper level uh, marking on the battery. Make sure that you have a level, flat surface that you're working with. So it doesn't matter which order you go in. Just tap it in and start filling it up. We have a special guest here in this video. This is Bella. Okay. 
This is why you always want to keep your goggles on. And what I'll do is I'll just uh, put some in each one of them, move the battery around, check the levels, uh, and then repeat until we're about the same and up to the top fill. So I've got a little bit of acid in each of the compartments. I just want to move it around. You will hear uh, the, the bubbles kind of working its way through the battery. All right, so that should do it. I'm about even in uh, all the compartments over here. Uh, it's right around the upper level. Um, so I wanna move this thing around just a little bit, just to make sure that we're able to give enough space for the air bubbles to dissipate. And then we'll just very uh, lightly put the plugs in just to keep anything from getting in there, but we still want the ability for the air bubbles to vent out. And then we'll let this guy sit for about an hour or so, let everything settle, double check the level. Uh, as long as everything looks good, which it should be, I used just about the entire acid pack, then we're gonna put this battery on charge uh, overnight and then it should be ready to go. So let's give it some time and we'll be right back. All right, so it's been about an hour. That should have been plenty of time for the acid in the battery to settle to where it needs to be. Uh, the levels still look okay. Uh, again, it helps to use a flashlight and actually use a little bit of backlight as you move the battery back and forth. Makes it easier to see the, the acid levels. They're not exactly the same, but that's totally okay. As long as they're right around the upper level, you should be good to go. So the next step that we're gonna wanna do is actually push these uh, plugs in all the way in. Remember we left them open to make sure that the battery can vent and any air bubbles can easily come out. And uh, these batteries come with a vent over here and a vent tube. I'm gonna leave this in the packaging for the time being until it's actually installed in the motorcycle. This is just used to vent the battery uh, over time. So you're gonna to wanna to hook this up and then route it through the bike so that if there's anything that bubbles up, it's not gonna get inside of the motorcycle to drain out onto the floor. So the next step here that we're gonna to wanna to do is actually put this guy on charge. Uh, normally, if you do it overnight, uh, the battery should be good enough to be installed in the bike and be ready to go. Um, I do have a number of uh, you know, battery tenders or you know, trickle chargers, if you wanna call them that. Uh, this one is the Junior 800. You could use anything else that's uh, on the market. There's so many different options here. So I'm gonna plug this guy in, connect the leads still out of the bike, leave it on overnight, uh, and then the battery will be ready for installation. So I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.